this is our final match of the evening. Wrestling for the championship at 197 pounds in the red corner from the Ohio State. And his opponent in the green from Penn State, Bo Nichols. Bo Nichols still undefeated this year, four time All American. Taking on a new challenge this year, bumping up to 197, where he's been just as good as ever. And maybe better. He may be better at 197. He's never been more dominant, the most dominant wrestler in the NCAA. Now here we go, gentlemen, center, center. His head coach, Cale Sanderson, seen two champions tonight. Golf, Kassar. And Bo's up against his biggest test in the field, Colin Moore, and he's already beaten him twice, pinned him once. Colin, absolutely the biggest test for Colin Moore, the number one seed in last year's NCAA, Colin Moore. And yet he has not been able to touch Bo Nickel at 197 since Bo moved up from 184. The pin, the other victory, a 10-3 decision in favor of Nickel. 18 of his 29 wins this year have come via pinfall. Picked up a pin in the semis. And a 14-4 win in the quarterfinals. For more of Ohio State, the Scarlet and Gray lost to Kyle Cannell of Kent State. One of the more surprising stories of last year's tournament in Cleveland. And Cannell, if things go the way he hopes, could be a Nittany Lion next year. Moore en route to the finals, a win over Tom Slay, and then in the semis, a major over Preston Weigel of Oklahoma State. Moore's been really impressive throughout this tournament. He's gotten to his offense on his feet, high volume of shots. He's got to continue with that confidence going into this against Bo Nickel. Everyone knows what Bo Nickel can do, but Moore's got to have that confidence in his own attacks to get out there and go for it. Yeah, it's really hard. It's good to feel uh, guys, you know, good to wrestle them a couple of times to get their feel, but Bo's so hard to recreate the looks that he gives. And so in other words, it's, it's hard to get into the practice room and say, all right, here's what I have to work on because Bo has so many things that he does, it's just hard to recreate the, the, the looks that he gives. It's hard to recreate his looks and his look <laughs> in general. The aesthetic has changed throughout the course of his career, from short hair to large beard, and now to this year, strikingly blue hair. Bo is so instinctive in the way that he wrestles. So much upside at the next level as well. He said, well, will Bo be big enough at 197? Well, he's every bit as big, and we're going to hear from him as the USA wrestling team determines who's going to represent them over the next few years. Bo's going to be right there. He was excited to move up, enjoyed the challenge of getting to lift a lot over the summer and add the weight after being a two-time champion in 184. Dwindles in the first. Moore trying to fend off Nickel. Nice job of pinching the leg there and finishing that off. Terrific persistence there by Nickel. Single leg to double, getting behind, pinching that leg on the edge of the mat. Way to end the first. It's Moore going for his first, Nickel for his third. Kassar, Suriano, Ashnall, Lewis, Foster, all first time champions. Suriano and Ashnall. 
the first in Rutgers history, individual Set. champs, Three, first and Robert. second, and Lewis, the first for the Hokies of Virginia Set. Tech. Moore is clear, two to one. Such a big takedown there at the end of the first period, Bo. More times than not, ends every period on top. And that was big with just a few seconds left to get that go ahead takedown and now be able to let more go here in the second period with the lead and get back to his feet where he loves to be. Bo Nickel out in front two to one. Nice snap there by Nickel. Watching the left arm of Moore. That's the side that Moore likes to go for his dumps. Nichols respecting that. He's keeping that arm low. If he does engage, it's hard snaps to that left side. He's not hang, letting that arm hang for Moore to capitalize on it. Jason Nolf of Penn State earlier joined a great club, Ed Ruth, Zane Rutherford, three time champions at Penn State. Nick will trying to do the same, already a four-time All-American. Watching the, the difference in the stances of these two wrestlers. Moore is kind of low and compact. He looks pretty tight. Nickel just so loose. Just watch his movement there. I think he's very comfortable, very fluid. The one thing about Bo, you... He can go high, he can go low. And so you can't sit back and not go upper body because Bo can go low. Four, three, two, one, time. Nickel gets his great athleticism from his parents, Jason and Sandy, both collegiate athletes. Mom, a basketball player, dad, a football player. And it's helped transform Nickel, along with all the hard work and dedication he's poured into his career, into a two-time champ. Two minutes away, trying to make it three. Trampolines his way to the escape point. Colin Moore so good. This is where the emotion, the energy, the opportunity here within two points right there. He's got to be who he is. Where do you go? He just needs to determine this is what I do and go after it. Go for it. Anthony, where should Moore attack? He's got some good attacks to his left side there. He's got to get some level changes going. Looks like he's just kind of stalking forward, trying to get a control tie, but Nichols moving out of that. Moore's got to have some nice little duck there by Moore. That body lock, a terrific defense there by Nichols. Pulling those arms up. Wiggled his hips out of there. So instinctive, and it was a great shot by Moore. And he needs to just keep making those shop, shots. Get after it. Moore's taking his shots. Less than 30 seconds to wrestle. And everybody wants Bo to go for the pin, let it fly. And no way is Colin Moore going to roll with Bo. Nickel fended off the shots. And Bo Nickel. Joins an elite group. He's a Penn State three-timer. Great fight by Moore. Great champion in Bo Nickel. The trajectory of the Nittany Lion program has changed a lot over the last decade. Sanderson, a big reason why, and so is Bo Nickel, Quinn. 
Well, congratulations. Thank you. He got in deep late, and, and you were you sprawled, and, and next thing you know, it was like, no, not happening tonight. Yeah, yeah you know, that was a good shot. He's a good opponent. Um, I uh, just had to keep wrestling that position, and, you know, I, I knew that I'm uh, my scrambling's too good. You know, I don't think he could have taken me down. When you exhale here and, and comprehend what you just did, you know, three titles, kid who started wrestling in your dad's wrestling room when you were, we showed the picture when you were about this big. Right. Uh, how do you put everything in perspective? What, what stands out? Uh, there's just so many people that I just love so much and have put so much time and energy into me. And, and I think it just comes down to God just really blessed me. I feel incredibly blessed by God and grateful for all the opportunities that I've had and all the people that he's put into my life. What do you think people will remember about the way you wrestled at Penn State? I wrestled free. Uh, I just went for it and, uh, you know, I was the most dangerous wrestler in the NCAA for four years. So it was exciting times and uh, looking forward to uh, moving on to better things. You know, World Championships 2019, Tokyo 2020. You said it best, most dangerous wrestler in NCAA for the last four years. Mike.